Good evening. Police are investigating a religious hate crime after four pigs' heads were dumped on the doorstep of a new community centre in Solihull. The incident happened after hundreds of people gathered to hear a prominent Muslim scholar. Tonight, politicians have called for calm and tolerance. Our special correspondent Peter Wilson's report contains images some people might find offensive. Solihull Community Hub. It's only been open a week, but windows have been broken. Thick glass still lies scattered on the ground. The vandalism didn't just include rocks being thrown. Four pigs' heads were placed late Sunday night at the entrance to the new community centre. The severed heads are especially offensive to Muslims who consider pigs and consumption of pork to be unclean. The placing of these pigs' heads right at the doorway of the community centre has heightened what was already a highly sensitive community issue. The police say that they have excellent quality CCTV and also forensic material, which means, they say, that the perpetrators of this hate crime should come and talk to the police as soon as possible before they come knocking at their door. One local resident today brought his daughter to see the damage and spoke of the need for calm. Extremely uh, unfortunate, extremely sad and obviously not happy with that because uh, we portray uh, our society as a very tolerant society. But if things like that uh, do happen, I think it is against the norms of this culture and society, and which is not uh, to be ex uh, honestly acceptable at all. The hub had previously been an ambulance station, now used as a training site with a prayer room. Last Tuesday, on its first official opening, hundreds gathered to hear an Islamic scholar. His previous engagements had all been at mosques. Rumours spread that the building will be used as a mosque, but it's parking issues which have upset some people. Parking was horrendous. They were double parked down the road and all on the double yellows and they were really struggling to uh, park. They should have been honest up front about what they were building. So we've got to get the correct planning permission and then people can have their size. And then people can have their opinion properly without the protest. All the main political parties deplored the vandalism at the centre. But what happened on Tuesday night um, allowed people to believe this might be becoming a mosque which uh, we've had assurances from the owners it's not the case. And what we're trying to do now is to put things back into context and get this community back as a nice, peaceful residential area. Absolutely disgraceful. And the perpetrator needs to be caught and punished because this is just deliberately aimed at trying to inflame racial hatred and the Labour Party condemns it. I just think individuals shouldn't be taking the law into their own hands. And uh, there is a process that would be followed and we need to go through that process, I think. I believe that uh, the police have got some good forensic evidence and I hope that they will be able to bring this really, really regrettable incident to, uh, to a close very, very quickly. The police are treating the vandalism as religious and racial hate crime. Tonight there were calls for calm and tolerance. Witnesses have come forward, local people have come forward. So I know that there are some individuals who feel quite isolated, feel really concerned about this, this act. But I feel good that the local community have just said, we're not tolerating this, it's just unacceptable. Hermitage Road seemed idyllic today in the sunshine, but tensions are running deep. And some people tonight are feeling hurt and fearful. Peter Wilson, BBC Midlands Today, Solihull. And Peter joins me now. Now, Peter, has there been any reaction from the people who actually run the community centre? Well, the people who run the centre, despite being victims of this vandalism, have sent out letters to local residents nearby apologising for those parking problems last week. They've also put out this statement where they say that the centre is wrongly being labelled a mosque. And they say that they are also going to be having talks again with Solihull Borough Council about the planning application and they say that they want to have a open charity event to invite everyone from Solihull to come to the centre to see exactly what it's being used for. Peter, thank you. And there are seven parliamentary candidates standing for election in Solihull. You can find out more on the BBC News website. A grandmother from